Hello, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a timeless spread, okay? So whenever you see... Oh, Lord have mercy. We're having some technical difficulties. Okay, water signs. So as I was saying, this is going to be a timeless love reading. It's going to be different than the other spreads that I've done. I'm getting smoked out here. It's going to be different than the other spreads that I've done. I'm not doing it individually i'm going to do it by the element so you guys are water it's basically just a spread that i made up i'm just going to figure out what is currently affecting your love lives this can apply whether you are taken single maybe seeing somebody on the side etc we're going to see what's going on what's affecting you maybe see the outcome maybe the future i might not even put the music on for your video this will apply if you have, why is this coming to me? This will apply if you guys have a water placement, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a fourth, eighth, or twelfth house personal placement, okay? Even if you don't have a water sign placement, if this resonates for you, then take the message, okay? I'll be using my Angel Oracle decks here, and then I'll be clarifying to see the message a little bit deeper with my tarot cards. If you are not subscribed already, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on my Instagrams. Juliana Reincarnated is my business tarot account. And young underscore Nina with two eyes is my personal account. I do polls on Instagram for YouTube videos. So if you want to see more tarot type of videos, you know, follow me there. Shoot me a message. Let me know what you guys want to see. But without further ado, I'm going to start your reading. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I'm dating a Scorpio, so this will be a little bit interesting. All right. What is the energy affecting water sign placements? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What energy is affecting your love lives right now, Spirit? Or what messages do they need to know regarding love? What energy is affecting water sign placements? Water sign placements. What energy is affecting their love lives? What energy is affecting their love lives right now? Thank you. All right, so the first one was ask for help from others. So if you guys are in a love situation where you're not sure what you need to do or what to do or how to proceed, ask one of your friends, ask a family member, ask someone that you trust. Mm. no okay so there's something that you're thinking of or there's something you're going to do you should not and ask your angels okay guys i feel like you're in a situation where there's something that you're contemplating on doing and pretty much spirit wants you to know don't go through with it until you consult people it might be that you need a second opinion from somebody um, who has more experience. I'd be very careful with how you proceed. You need to ask somebody for help regarding your love life, regarding a love situation, okay? There's something going on that you should not proceed with, water signs. I'm getting a really weird feeling. Okay, what do water signs need to know about their love life? What is affecting their love lives currently? You do have an angel protecting you though. What is affecting water signs love lives currently? What energy is affecting their love lives? Hmm. What is affecting water sign placements love lives currently? Sacral Chakra. I'm going to pull one more because I feel like they wanted to come out. But so far, Archangel Raphael. So there is an angel protecting you guys, okay? The healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. So a lot of you guys may be going through a healing phase in life. You may be in a relationship that is maybe very trying. And has you guys maybe at a crossroads where you don't know where to go. But for some reason... You're in this relationship for a reason. It's healing you from past traumas, past life trauma. Vegetarian and vegan, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. A lot of you guys may not be 
vibing at a high level and that's why your angels are telling you no. I feel like you guys need help with something and whatever situation or love situation you're in, it's lowering your spiritual frequency or you're going through a very trying time. That's why you have an angel protecting you, but you need to take care of yourself and eat better. Sacral chakra, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. You guys need to be careful who you're surrounding yourself with, what you're doing with yourselves, what you're eating, and just who you're around in general. I feel like, I don't even know if this is even a relationship situation, okay? Love can also be friends. There's something in your love lives that you need to rethink because you, it's, it's a bad idea. And you need to ask other people for their advice regarding something. You need to ask the people that you love. Okay, you're very sensitive right now. There's something going on where... I don't know if your frequency is very low and that's why you have to be careful. Everybody's had a chakra card come up in their reading. So every sign has a specific chakra that they need to pay attention to. But water signs, I think there's a situation or a person or people that you're surrounding yourself with. And either these people or this situation is lowering your spiritual frequency and you are being reminded that because you're around these people, it's lowering your vibration and you're becoming more susceptible to negative vibes and negative energy, okay? And even though you have an angel watching over you and with you to protect you, you have to be mindful of who you are letting in your life right now. One more please for water sign placements. I'm getting a headache for some reason. Water sign placements. Integrity, mm. water sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do water sign placements need to know regarding their love lives? Fairies, you have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping mother nature. I need another incense. What is the love energy for? Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio placements. What is affecting their love lives currently? I think you guys need to just be very aware of what's going on in your love life, what's going on with the people that you're surrounding yourself by, because for some reason, I don't know how much of a love reading this one is. I think you guys, you guys love everybody that is your friend, okay? You guys have a very strong connection to the people that you love. And when you love people, you love them. Okay? So I don't know if this is just for romantic or if this is platonic or if this is all. I'm feeling like it's for everybody that you love. But there's a situation within your love life where you need to start asking for help from other people. Ask your angels. Ask your spirit guides about the situation. Because if you've been asking people and they've been telling you, no, don't do it, don't go through with that, no, 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 you need to listen to who you're talking to. Or you need to listen to whoever's telling you, stop dealing with that person. Because the person that maybe you're dealing with or the people you're surrounding yourself by, they're lowering your vibration. You are very sensitive, water signs, to people's energies. So be careful what you're putting in your body. And some of you actually may be fairies. Spirit, what is the love energy affecting water sign placements love lives currently? So children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of you may have children. Some of you may have gotten somebody pregnant. Maybe this is a baby mother, baby father. Or this is a childhood trauma that you need to heal. What is something that is affecting water sign placements? Love life. What is affecting water sign placements? Love lives. What energy is affecting water sign 
placements, love lives. What energy is affecting water sign placements, love lives currently? Chemistry. So there's someone that you do have a strong magnetic attraction to. What is going on for water sign placements, love lives? What is going on here? Water sign placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's affecting their love lives? I feel like there's a lot coming up here. I'm not going to take these, but make the effort. Give your relationship a chance. What is affecting water sign placements, love lives currently? Okay, I'll take those. Soulmate, free yourself. Okay, yes, this is your soulmate. It's time to take back control of your life. I think you guys are dealing with someone that you that is your soulmate, okay? You're dealing with someone that is your soulmate. There's a connection there. It's very strong. People don't realize that if you're asking your friends, like, should I be with this person? And they're saying no, they don't realize how strong this relationship connection is. But there's something that you're bound to. There's something that is lowering your vibration that you need to release. You need to remove that. It could be something from your childhood. If you don't have children, it could be something that you're holding on to from your childhood that you need to free yourself from because it's not helping your relationship grow. It's hindering it. And even though there's an angel there that is helping you through this situation and this relationship, because you're so sensitive, you just need to be careful who you're allowing in your life. I don't feel like this is sure there's a soulmate here and you have a connection, but I think there's something else that you need to free yourself from. I'm getting a weird vibe here, water signs. There is something in your life that you need to let go of. Spirit. Can I please get some answers for what is affecting water sign placements, love life currently? What is currently affecting water sign placements, love lives currently? And so can you give me what clarity? Yeah, there are signs here that are being shown to you that you need to change. You should not go through with something. And if you're not completely sure, you need to ask people. Ask your angels if you don't trust other people's opinions. Because something's going on or something is going to happen. <sighs> There's certain relationships, water signs in your life that you need to release. Friends, lovers, family. Some of you guys do need to eat better to raise your vibration. Mm. And your sacral chakra needs a little bit more attention. But I think there's a part of you that needs to avoid certain people and certain things. What do water signs need to know regarding the relationship. What is affecting water signs relationships right now and their love lives? What's affecting their love lives right now? What is affecting water signs? Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. Five of swords, the devil. So there is that free yourself vibe. I was thinking like Capricorn energy, the goat. Man, water signs, what is going on? Five of swords, the devil. So you guys are going through some kind of conflict with someone. If this is a relationship, there's a lot of arguments. If someone has left you and they come back, that no could be don't take them back. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same kind of conflict. But you guys are in a karmic relationship with this person. 
There could be some kind of deceit going on, some deception, someone is lying. Hmm. Yeah, there's some kind of dark energy in you guys' love lives right now. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. There's something here. It could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn. But if you're not, I think that you guys are tied down to either a person or something. There's something in your love lives that you guys feel bound to. You can't escape this thing or this person. You can't escape this connection. What else is affecting water sign placements, love lives? Four of cups. What else is affecting water sign placements, love lives? The chariot. Could be a cancer individual. What else is affecting water sign placements? King of pentacles. Yeah, so there's that Capricorn influence. It could be a Capricorn or earth sign. Cancer, this message could be specifically for you. What is affecting water sign placements love lives currently? What is affecting their love lives? Justice. Lots of karma is coming to you guys. What else is affecting water sign placements? Knight of Cups. What else is affecting water sign placements love lives? Hmm. Queen of Swords, Strength, and the King of Swords. So some of you guys, the signs that are coming up right now, Capricorn, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Leo, and then Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. There's a dark energy here following you guys. Water signs. I feel like you guys need to be careful of who you're around, who you surround yourself by. You guys are very susceptible to energy right now. If you guys are not taking care of yourselves in the proper way, it lowers your frequency and it lowers all this negative energy to enter yourselves. Does that make sense? If you guys don't protect yourself spiritually, protect your vibration, protect your frequency. If you guys don't take care of yourselves spiritually, that's when you guys attract, I feel like negative people and negative situations. There's something in your life that you guys feel bound to, okay? An addiction, something you're obsessed with. This could be sex, money, a temptation. There's something that you guys cannot let go of you feel very bound to this it could be a person lust something toxic and unhealthy some of you guys may be in a relationship where it's constantly battles and fighting arguments you guys argue get back together argue get back together the four of cups here I want to pull another one. Can I please get another card for what is affecting water sign placements, love lives? I'm not taking those. It's currently. So if you guys are not communicating with your loved ones, water signs, there will be communication coming in. feel like for some reason you guys are stuck in a cycle but I don't know how much about this is about love I think that there is external influences weighing down on your relationships love platonic those other things that are making it hard for you within the relationship And I just want to mention that the devil, justice, this all speaks about karma. So if you guys are in a relationship where you're cheating or doing something behind the other person's back, 
Maybe there's a third party situation. If you argue and you go out and try to find somebody else, there will be consequences to your actions. So just remember that. When it comes to the soulmate, you have somebody that wants to build with you. This person, they see you as this king of pentacles. They want that stable life with you, okay? They want to marry you. They want that long-term commitment. I feel like if you guys are kind of at a standstill, if you guys have recently just got into an argument with your loved one and you don't really know where the situation is going or you don't know how to make this situation progress with the chariot, you don't know how to make the energy move forward, you guys might have to step up in this king of pentacles energy. Step up in that mature, responsible energy and take whatever consequences are coming to you. If you've done some things in the past that you're not proud of, you know, you and your partner have constantly been fighting and arguing and you're holding on to something from the past, from your childhood, maybe a trauma, and that's maybe the root of the evil, <laughs> so to speak. Like there's a root to this issue here. But it may be that you don't want to see it or you don't know how to make this relationship progress. You don't know how to have that chariot energy. But you know what it's going to take? I feel like water signs, you guys just need to grow up a little bit, mature. See things from this king of pentacles energy. If there was issues in the past... And you've done some things that you're not proud of. Accept the consequences. Accept what karma is bringing to you. Take it like the king of pentacles. You reap what you sow. Or it's this other person. But I feel like regardless, somebody's going to come and reach out to you. You guys may need to put your pride aside because with this strength card in between the king and the queen of swords, I feel like if there's no communication either now or in the future, it's because pride is in between you guys. Pride is stopping you. That ego. You guys need to tame that inner beast within you. Come through and apologize to each other. Own up to what it is that is the issue and start the healing process. Some of you guys, oh, this is Sag energy. So we got Capricorn, Cancer, Earth, Libra, Air, and Sagittarius. And Leo. So I feel like a lot of you guys, your relationship hasn't been easy, okay? You guys may be in a karmic situation where you feel bound by this person, you can't escape them, you can't escape the issues. But for some reason, I feel like it's more than just the relationship. There's a lot of other things that are affecting your situation. Friendship and love-wise. There's a lot of external things that are causing this relationship to go through this Five of Swords battle, this conflict. Not being able to resolve anything. No one wants to accept that they're wrong. So they walk away, but they come back. And they walk away and they come back. Nobody is willing to see a different perspective. Both people think they're right. And because of that toxic energy, but you have that love, you don't want to leave the situation. Neither of you wants to see it from a different perspective. And that is what has you stuck here with the Four of Cups. You don't know what you really want to do. And that's where you need to start talking to other people. Get some advice because the Four of Cups is not stagnant energy, but there's no movement. And I think there needs to be some realizations with the Four of Cups there that there is an opportunity for another beginning. But you have to realize certain things okay you have to realize that okay there is an opportunity here but there is three cups in the back or you just need to realize that there is an opportunity here to move forward 
So if you guys are so stuck in the past and what has happened and all the toxic traits that have happened and you guys are not willing to integrate the lessons, integrate the karma, realize that, you know, you have some toxic traits about you that you need to heal. Once you sit down by yourself and realize, okay, this is what I have to do in order for the relationship to move forward. That is when the relationship is going to move forward. But only until then is when it will. You have to free yourself from the past and what has happened. But you also have to learn. Okay? Because I feel like bickering, conflict, coming and going, but nobody's really trying to see it from a different perspective. It could be that these arguments, they, there's harsh words, there's harsh things being said. And that's where the toxicity comes in. Like when you guys argue, y'all say some real like low things. And you know that there is potential here. You know there's chemistry. You know this person is your soulmate. But it's kind of like, how can I make this opportunity come faster? You have to realize the toxic traits that you have. And you have to realize that there is a different perspective. But so does your partner. It's not just a one-way street, right? So, there is a need for maturity here with the King of Pentacles. You guys have to be responsible. You have to be mature. You have to step out of this toxic energy and put your big boy or girl panties on and, you know, take what comes to you, okay? Because I feel like there could be an element of karma here. It may be that you guys have to make a decision to come forward and say some nice, lovely words to your partner because maybe this Five of Swords energy, if you've said something really mean in the past to your partner, you may have to come back and apologize. You may have to be the one to say, I'm sorry, you know, and try to sweep them off their feet again. But they might not be having it because they too have an ego here. They carry that Queen of Swords energy where I'm not really trying to speak but when they do speak, watch out because it will be the truth. It might hurt your feelings. But it's coming from a place of pride. So if you come forward after making that decision, after all the self-realization, okay, this is how I have to come now. I have to come correct. I have to be mature. You come through with the justice card. You accept the past. You accept everything that has happened. Your actions have consequences. Your words have consequences. You take whatever karma comes. You take whatever has to be rebalanced, so to speak, because the, the justice card is about balance. So is temperance, balance being restored. Whatever you have to do or say to make things be rebalanced again i think that you will say it with the knight of cups okay and the justice card is also about speaking the truth so for some of you if you have been bickering with somebody and i feel like yeah this could be a friend or a partner you've been bickering with someone to the point where you may have said something or them one of you said something that really was a little bit low and now you're like okay there is potential here they're my soulmate i want to be with them there's a lot of chemistry how can I make this move forward? You know what you got to do. You got to take the mature route here. Accept whatever karma you get. Speak the truth. Be honest. Be fair and be just. Make a decision. And that decision may be to come forward with a love message. But just realize they might not be all nice and sweet to you. Even though you come here trying to be all romantic. They might be get the hell up out of here. Okay, which might cause you in turn to maybe sit back and reciprocate that energy. But I do see an apology coming and I do see some healing positive energy. So for some of you, this temperance card could be that Archangel Raphael. And he's coming here to help you free yourself from these toxic traits. He's here to help you heal these childhood traumas that may cause you to stay in this toxic energy, you know? Certain things that you grew up with, 
they may follow you into your relationships but i see that if communication doesn't go as planned here give this person some time because there will be an apology coming and there is some healing energy healing vibrations but i feel like you guys there's a lot of things influencing your love life lots of negativity lots of external influences that are causing you and your partner maybe to have disagreements have a lot of arguments say some things you necessarily wouldn't say to them maybe when you're drunk maybe when you're high it could be something regarding money with the devil like anything that isn't really healthy for you that's why your angels are telling you Eat healthy, be healthy, don't be out here drinking liquor and everything like that. Because when you drink, that's when all that toxicity comes out. You have to be the mature one to be like, okay, I messed up. That might be what y'all gotta do. I messed up. Come and apologize. And even though the apology might not be accepted at first, you guys might need just to give them some time and then come back with another softer apology and try to temper things out. If you guys are addicted to anything, drugs, alcohol, temperance could be pointing to sobriety. It could be that if you come to them with that apology, but you haven't healed yourself and been sober, this could be the reason why they don't wanna accept you back into their life. They can tell that this toxic part of you is not healed and you're still acting and will act that way. So this temperance card could be free yourself from the things that are chained to you and that you are chained to. Liquor, drugs, anything you're addicted to, gambling, money. You might really need to get yourself back in balance before you come back to them. Because with the nine of wands here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like someone is guarded. Someone is keeping their guard up. But there's, I don't feel like this is a majority of love. I feel like there's so much external things influencing you guys' love life. And that's what's making your partnership so hard because there's so many external things happening right now. There's so many different things. And there's potential here to move things forward. But you guys have to mature in a way that comes with speaking your truth and being honest about yourself. That integrity card wanted to come out. Some of you guys need a, a reality check. And maybe some of you guys are going to get that. If you come and apologize and they basically, you know, get out of here. That might be a reality check for you guys that, okay, maybe what I'm doing isn't right and maybe I need to check into a AA meeting or I need to quit doing so many drugs because my drug habit is affecting it, I'm chained to it or whatever the case may be. And maybe the reason why you guys are addicted to certain things is because whatever happened to you as a child. Okay, so this could be that there's certain things that you have to deal with from your childhood before you can fully step into this connection that you have. So don't be surprised if this person blows you off when you come through with that apology. And be careful what you say, water signs, because right up here, mm, there's some toxic traits coming up here, okay? But I think that the chakra that is off with you guys is your sacral chakra. So, I would just be very careful. And like it says here, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, and processed foods and energy. So be careful what drugs and what things you're putting in your body because when you put certain things that are negative in your body, negative things happen. So realize that guys, okay? Try to stay healthy, try to eat healthy, try to only put good things into your body so that you can stay balanced okay but there is a connection here and i think there just needs to be a little bit of growing up and some people just need to realize what they've said and what they've done is wrong and they just have to come forward and speak their truth okay but if you get blown off 
just come back when you feel better about yourself. When you feel better about yourself. Okay? So I just want to thank you, Water Signs, for tuning in to your love reading. And I'll see you guys next time.